Today we're going to talk about crankshaft pinning kits and why they're needed on some OEM crankshafts. This particular LS engine has an OEM stock crankshaft that does not have any keys or anything to positively locate and lock the harmonic damper to the crankshaft. A pinning kit is our aftermarket solution for being able to drill and pin the damper to the crankshaft, thereby physically locking them together, and it is used any time that you have higher horsepower applications or every time that you have a supercharger installed. With the crankshaft damper installed on the crankshaft, you will then grab your pinning components. You will grab the main pinning jig that's included, along with the 3 16th square key. The 3 16th square key engages in the square cut key in the end of the pinning jig. You will take your pinning jig with the key installed and insert that into the bore of the damper. You will press the pinning jig all the way until it contacts the end of the crankshaft. You will then grab your electric drill with the supplied drill bit. This particular drill bit we have wrapped with electrical tape to provide as a stop so you only penetrate the crankshaft one and one half inches. You will then take the drill bit, insert it into the three holes of the pinning jig, and drill to the point at which your electrical tape touches the pinning jig. Once your three holes are drilled, you will remove your drill bit. You can use some compressed air to blow out the holes to make sure that there are no chips inside. You will then grab the supplied 3 16 dowel pins and insert them into the three holes in the pinning jig. These will press all the way through the pinning jig and into the crankshaft, thereby locking the two pieces together. After inserting the three pins and making sure that they're flush to the face of the pinning jig, you may now grab your crankshaft bolt and washer, making sure that the washer with the raised head goes underneath the head of the bolt, and then insert that into the end of the crankshaft, hand tightening till it stops, and then using your torque wrench to torque it to spec. If you have any questions concerning an installation of a pinning kit, or whether you need a pinning kit for your particular crankshaft, please contact us at any time.